So here's a guy who might be challenging me for a max bet. Since I'm running a uh, specifically tuned hurricane that should substantially be dino. Let's see how good this guy is in comparison. I'm not particularly worried about beating him. The question is how much should I beat him by? Not much. extra K in the bank not a bad thing so this car again is tuned for this kind of challenges here in this lobby um, I don't usually take 200 K bets but um, you know if they're willing to offer up I am willing to take it on the other hand I really am not here to try to steal this guy's money so I'm sure he'll get it back from some other people well here's Matthias I was actually trading with him earlier I've uh, been having some problems with him re-challenging me. I don't know why. Uh, I was able to challenge him and re-challenge him, but he couldn't re-challenge me. So I kind of ended the trade after a few sessions because it was starting to get kind of uh, difficult to try to get it going uh, smoothly. But since he wants to try again, I'll be happy to give him a run. I just came off of a win. I'm going to give him the win here. challenge him and then the question is whether he'll be able to re-challenge me after this race so lots of fun stuff uh, in the 10 second lobby a lot of people are uh, tuned to beat the lobby slightly uh, so you can get some interesting challenges here also a lot of people that are actually trading which is good as well I'm on a 150 uh, percent wild card so I'm looking for people to trade with to maximize my point gains. I'm going to. He's giving me the win this time. Um, <clears throat> nice and easy there. And let's see if he. Oh, he rechallenged me. Now, last time I accepted his rechallenge really fast, and he disconnected. So I'm going to give him about three seconds and then connect. Boom. Perfect. Sometimes, depending on device lag, if you accept too quick, the opponent cannot. Uh, his device is still on the switching between the track to the accepting screen. So what happens is you have a fast device, you accept, and you actually end up disconnecting the other guy. And it will show opponent disconnected. He's actually not trying to disconnect. What it is is that his device just haven't caught up with you yet. So if you're impatient as a, you know, since you're trying to make 300 points a day, I understand if you don't want to wait, but for average guys like me, just doing a few milestone races, I'm not worried about waiting an extra five seconds. You know, I want to give the guy a chance to be able to actually uh, race with me. So, if he's willing to trade, I'm on to trade. That's uh, how you make points to a wild card. Outside of wild card, I don't bother to trade too much. I'm not dying for that extra point. It's not going to make a big difference to me. Wait, am I supposed to win this one? I think I am, actually. I think I challenged him. Yep. Uh, brain, brain farts, left and right. Whenever I'm talking, I forget about these kind of things, and that's not good. You don't want to be messing up the uh, order while trading. It throws everybody off. Um, and, you know, it's just bad. But th this also tells you I'm not that great a trader. Sometimes I just forget. So, let's focus here. Uh, this time he's supposed to get the win, so I make sure I don't accidentally take the win from him. So, basically, if I don't use nitrous, he should have no problem beating me. Uh, the car has a long fourth gear, so it needs this fourth gear. There we go. And once again, I'm going to challenge him. I haven't had a problem challenging him. It was the problem with him challenging me earlier, but now that seems to have been worked out. So I'm going to keep on trading. Um, again, I finally found a nice tune for the uh, Hurricane Spider. I'm quite happy with it. And um, I hope that if you did manage to pull this car as part of the Golden Cup, you would build it and enjoy it. Uh, my initial review of this car was kind of negative because I couldn't 
manage to beat Dino by much. Uh, but this car actually has a pretty good tune for uh, substantially beating Dino, which allows you to then use it effectively in live without stressing about whether you can beat Dino enough to keep up with the other guys. So it makes good points. Doesn't have the highest evo in the world, uh, but it makes good points, and that's all that matters. In any case, uh, I'm going to end the video right here and keep on trading with Matthias. Uh, I hope you enjoy watching this video. Leave a like, feel free to comment, and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos. Uh, I will post them on a regular basis. Thank you very much for wa watching this video, and um, I hope to uh, see you again soon.